Now, in part three of our conversation with Bill Gates, co-founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu discusses, among other things, some solutions and a few ways the world could adapt to climate change. Now let's talk about climate. Uh, the report talks about climate adaptation. To what extent is it possible to stop climate change or is adaptation the way of the future? Well, we certainly need to do both. I wish I could tell you that the mitigation effort that is reducing the greenhouse gases would be so successful that we wouldn't have to worry about adaptation. But even in the best case, we will have over two degrees of warming. And so whether it's droughts or uh, big heat periods of heat, uh, agriculture in Africa is going to be tougher in the future uh, than it is today. One of the key things from the commission, which I was uh, one of the co-chairs of, along with Ban Ki-moon and several other people, uh, is that we need to make better seeds. And the commission, the Global Commission, as you mentioned, says that investing $1.8 trillion over the next decades in five key areas would lead to $7.1 trillion in benefits. What are some of those five key areas? I know you mentioned a few of them. Well, the top of the list is helping subsistence farmers. Most of the very poor people in the world are farmers. Uh, a lot of them are near the equator where the heat uh, is going to be you know, very difficult and some crops are not, you'll have to shift which crops you go, grow uh, in order to, to have high productivity. There are a lot of things having to do with the uh, sea level rise where if you build mango forests, uh, they hold the soil in, uh, they re they're able to reduce the amount of flooding and uh, the land loss that takes place uh, there's a lot of things about early warning systems. Sadly, you know, we're going to continue to have storms with slightly greater intensity uh, because of climate change, and so the resilience there uh, is very important. Some of the things in the report are fairly inexpensive, like those warning systems, mango forests, even better seeds, a few billion dollars over the next five years will make a, a huge difference there. Some of them, like building seawalls, uh, you know, that's very difficult irrigating farms, very difficult, but uh, we're gonna have to tackle all of these things. You know, the tragedy is that the poorest uh, who are going to suffer the most from climate change are exactly the people who did nothing to cause it. So far, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has invested more than $15 billion in projects relevant to Africa. What do you, how do you me measure success and the impact that this investment has made over the years, and what keeps you up at night? Well, we're thrilled at the partnerships we have, uh, working with the uh, countries that give aid, working with the countries in Africa on their programs to support them. You know, our progress in global health is better than we expected. We have a lot of challenges. We're not done with polio. Then once we're done with polio, we'll take on malaria. Malaria deaths are down, but it's still 400,000 kids, mostly in Africa, uh, dying every year. We don't have a lot of the tools. I hoped we'd have an HIV vaccine by now. We'll get one, I think, within a decade, but that's taken longer uh, than we expected. There are some projects that are at a fairly early stage, this idea of a reinvented toilet, so it's cheap. Uh, that even in urban Africa, everybody can have a toilet in their own home and it just processes the waste without having a big expensive sewer system. So uh, that uh, you know, may take another 10 years before it, it's really available. Uh, there's even some risk, you know, can we get that price down as much as we want to? So you know, we're here to partner with the governments. Uh, you know, we you know, are excited that the work has come along. Of course we worry about, you know, instability and climate change and, you know, all sorts of things that are headwinds for this work. But, you know, the moral uh, importance of this work uh, to help those who are most in need, you know, treat lives as having equal value, uh, that really energizes us. Bill Gates, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. That was Bill Gates, co-founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, discussing climate change with Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu.